Hey Health Seekers, this is Kate Shimarani here, natural nurse in a toxic world. Many of you already know me and you're following my page. And I covered what I thought was happening with this whole um, V that's going around. Uh, and that video has done over a million hits worldwide. Now, we all know, everyone who's following me, that you can Google the effects of non-ionized radiation on the human body. There are military papers there. You can Google the effects of what aluminium does to the immunity. You can Google the effects of what any changes in the electromagnetic field of the earth does to immunity. You can also go on, look all on my page, and you'll see the new laws that were passed in Parliament at how you can be taken from your house if they suspect that you have this virus or you've been in contact with anyone. Now, today I was told by somebody who is working within the public sector, one of those public sector jobs where it's there uh, to enforce laws that they'd seen on the TV, it said that when you go into these hospitals, you don't come out. Now we know there's football stadiums and lots of places that are being put together and they're gonna be makeshift hospitals. We're also told that the military is on standby. I've also had military personnel tell me they know something big's coming and that the hangars are full of food and that they're all on standby. Now we also know that Trump mobilized another million reservist troops he also did something that was unconstitutional unless it's in wartime where they can, there's something that's pulled open so that they can take private enterprises. I had a, a very high up member of government tell me today from Cambodia that they're now about to go on lockdown. So this is happening all over the world. Now we hear Tony Blair talking about we need a one world government to tackle this virus. I also know that there's lots of people that are experts in virus who've all spoken about this. Lots of doctors, lots of scientists. That's all on my page. I've also read studies where they couldn't confirm. It was the theory. Did this come from a bat or a lab? They could neither prove nor disprove that they believed it wasn't from a lab. That's not scientific evidence based. And yet the press took it up, circulated it out. It's from a bat. I know that you can't catch a virus from eating an animal. I also know that over 300,000 viruses live on the body that are activated when you become so toxic. That's how it happens. What I was told today, which is why I'm doing this video, is completely shaken me. I was told firsthand. Now, yesterday, first of all, I was told by a nurse that there were nobody in, in the hospital, nobody coming in the emergency room where she was a senior nurse in Dorset, and that she'd overheard another senior sister saying they were expecting a great big amount of people going into Salisbury. Now, 5G, the effects of radiation. Just Google that non-ionized radiation and what it does. It's very similar to what they're telling you are the effects of this. So today I was told straight up by somebody about a doctor friend had told his sister who's a doctor that people that are in hospital, they are putting them into induced comas, old people. And from that, they're dying. Then I was told, again, another piece of information, a 91 year old woman this was straight from the friend of the family. And I believe this, I have no reason to disbelieve this information. 91 year old, hasn't been seen by a doctor in decades, starts to show symptoms of having what they're talking about with the, she's taken into hospital, she has an evening meal, everything's okay. Then they get a phone call the next morning that she died in the night. So going on that, somewhere in the press, if anyone else has seen that, tell me, when you go into these places, you don't come out. Now we know that when you start saying there's a big pandemic and people are dying, if people are coming in with the symptoms, what are my medical colleagues gonna do? This is against, it's, it, it's against really what we're meant to do, preserve life. It's against medical ethics. It's against code of conduct. What is going on here, folks? Everywhere, people are sending me videos. They're sending everybody. Putting, people are putting it out there. 5G's going up everywhere. All around. I myself saw all around the local school. Great big black LED lamppost with the antenna sticking out the side. This 5G is everywhere. I had some stupid man in a supermarket car park. We were, we were observing the six foot rule. Oh, you'll be six foot under. It's funny that. I'm a Christian. How many sixes do you want to put in it? Just add another one. Um, and he said, oh, what a load of rubbish, I'm an engineer. Um, Non-ionized radiation is not dangerous. Well, he was clearly ignorant and I told him that and he hasn't gone and read the papers. It is very dangerous. The only people who are telling you it's not dangerous are the people that are selling it. They're gonna switch this on everywhere. 
That was switched on in Wuhan. It was switched on in Italy. Um, I'm not saying that this isn't real. I'm just saying how you would catch one. They live on the body. What I'm talking about here is 5G. What is the bigger agenda here? When I see governments changing rules that people can come and take you out your house because you might have it and then you might get sent to these centres, these football stadiums that have been taken over, military are all on standby. People wake up, wake up, stop sitting on your piles of toilet roll, stop sitting there watching your Netflix thinking all oh, this is going to be over and it's going to change. Things are never going to be what they were in January. That's all gone. It's all gone. Never has every government in the world come together and done this. Never, 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 never. Never. I'm a mum. I'm a nurse of 35 years. And for a friend to publicly say, oh, you don't work as a nurse anymore. What? Because I just don't work on that front line. I work in a different clinical area. I don't forget what I was taught. I don't forget how the human body works. Most of what I know now, I didn't learn in nursing school. I've learned an awful lot because remember I was diagnosed with cancer and I turned my back on chemotherapy, radiotherapy, tamoxifen, Zolidex. My own brother-in-law said I'd die within 18 months. That was eight years ago. I would rather die trying than on my knees to the corruption that is unfolding in front of you all while you sit there with your gobs open waiting for someone to come and rescue you. Go Google it while we've got the internet. Google non-ionized radiation. Google the effects of 5G because when they switch it on, it's going to be exactly what you're told is the effects of this. And when you all rock up to the hospital and they don't have enough areas to treat you, then what's going to happen? Now in New York, they were already hollowing out all these Walmart, all these stores. They've got like towers on them like you would see in concentration camps. Now they've had 70 odd uh, refrigerator trucks, delivered meat trucks. This is all there for all of you to see. Get off your Netflix and see it. This is just incredible. I'm a Christian. When Twin Towers went down, whatever your reasons that you believe it went down, I know how it went down and it wasn't what most people think. When that went down and people were so filled with fear, do you know it changed the, um, it, uh, the energy of the earth? I read that somewhere in science. When you get loads of people praying together in a room, praying, which is what everybody should be doing, praying on your knees, that changes again. It changes the energy in the room. And it actually says that in the Bible. Pray. I'm going to do something later. Everybody should pray at the same time. 9 p.m. UK time, whatever that is, Pacific time, whatever that is, East Coast time, all over the world. We should all pray because we are being lied to and we are being deceived completely. None of this is right. None of it is right. People, while you have the internet, don't take my word for it. You go look and we have a duty, a duty of care to protect our elderly because that's where we want to be one day. We want to be old. We have a duty to protect our children so that they grow old. We have a duty to one another. Brothers and sisters, what can I say? I am totally disturbed. It's not often I get flustered, but look at the colour of my ears. Because this has really hit me when somebody tells me that and I can validate that information completely and they tell me because they're terrified of what they've seen going on. Anyway, Godspeed to everyone.